we're going to go in the reverse order to the opening statements, uh, which means I'm going to start with you, Mr. Sisler. Um, so, for two minutes, could you wrap it up? Thank you. Um, thank you again to the League of Women Voters and to all the residents that came out uh, tonight to listen, and to all those that are watching on MarstownGreen.com and uh, the News Bee and, uh, and the Daily Record. Um, it is, um, uh, starting off, I talked about property taxes, and I'm going to end with property taxes because that's the number one issue um, here in Morris Township. It's the number one issue in New Jersey. Um, as I've said, over the last nine years, um, it doesn't matter how the votes came through, it doesn't matter how things got done. Um, I've been on the uh, uh, finance committee for several years. We helped cut those taxes twice, and we kept them stable. Um, for uh, seven of those nine years. We still continue to have a phenomenal AAA bond rating here in Mars Township, and we should be proud of, of this township. Regardless of who's sitting up here, and regardless of who's sitting on the dais in Mars Township, we have a great, great town. Um, for nine years, I've been honored and, and privileged to represent all of you, Republican, Democrat, unaffiliated, it doesn't matter who you are. Um, I really take this job seriously, and I really love doing it for all of you. Um, because, um, because my family has, has lived here, and because they will continue to live here, regardless of the outcome of this election. Um, are the decisions that we make controversial sometimes? Sure. Are the decisions that we make um, decisions that you don't like or you may like? Sure. Um, but they are difficult decisions. I understand that. They are difficult decisions that, that we make. Could we do a better job? Of course. Could we do more communication? Could we do more of this? Could we do more of that? Obviously, we could. Um, anybody can stand up here and say, you didn't do this, you didn't do that, you didn't do this, you didn't do that. But I've had the honor to sit here for nine years and help my community and serve my community. So I just wanted to say to all of you out there, thank you for giving me the honor and the privilege to be able to do that for you and your families for the last nine years. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Uh, uh, Sisler, and now we're going to move on to Jeff Grazell. Thank you. Uh, I'll agree with a lot of what Chris just had to say. We live in a great community, and we have a lot of great things that go on. We have a lot of good accomplishments that our township community has made. Um, those have not gone unnoticed, and Mark and I plan on keeping the good, moving forward with the good, uh, but there is plenty of room for improvement. And Mark and I have, as we walk door to door, talked to a lot of people, explained our vision for the future of Morris Township that includes more communication, includes two-way communication. It includes involving the residents in the decision-making process. It involves getting feedback before decisions are made. It involves not making bathroom deals, but explaining to the community the implications of what might happen when we have affordable housing requirements that come into town, when we have big development like the hospital that are going to be torn down and be redeveloped. We need to have those big community discussions. That's not happening. So Mark and I are going to improve communication, both one way and two way. We're going to improve how we operate at our meetings. We didn't get to talk about that. We're going to improve the, the public commentary at the meetings. Improve, improve the explanations of all the ordinances that go on at the meetings to the public. Uh, so that everybody has a better understanding and everybody has more of an opportunity uh, for feedback. Um, the other things that we talked about tonight, overdevelopment, uh, we'll just quickly restate that, you know, development, all development, doesn't have to be the way it's going. Um, everybody needs some development, uh, but we need controlled development. We need planned development. We need to see how it integrates with the community. Um, we can't just have a developer come in and just do one-off <coughs> developments like we've seen all around town without understanding the implications of how that affects the broader community. Um, and lastly, we talked about taxes, uh, shared services. I've had the accomplishment of, uh, of bringing the joint municipal courts to Morristown, which saved us $150,000 to $200,000 a year, along with other things. Um, we're going to move forward on other shared services, find ways to keep our tax base stable, and you will have a very successful township committee with Jeff Brazel and Mark Jorfey out there on the days. Thank you. And now we're going to hear from Joseph Calvinelli. You know, I'm not a lawyer, so I'm not going to make a closing argument in the traditional sense. Uh, I'm not a sales guy, so I'm not going to you know, close the sale, so to speak. But I am going to underscore my background as a businessman, as a community leader, in terms of community volunteerism, and the fact that we have lived 
here for 35 years. We appreciate what has happened, and my plan is to represent all residents, all 24,000 people in this community. Those of you who know my demeanor know it will be civil discourse at the township committee level. You, those of you who know me know that you can approach me, that we can have a dialogue on some stuff, and there's great opportunity for moving this community forward into the next decade. I, I hope that you give me that opportunity. I, I see it now more than ever, the urgency for us to fight back against maybe what's happening in Trenton. Keep in mind that there are people in Trenton that really want our dollars. And I think that's going to be one of the greatest challenges for the next decade or so to Morris Township is to maintain that, that, that base of, of taxes uh, in, in, in light of that threat. So thank you very much. And thank you. And the final speaker is going to be Mark Jerkley. Uh, thank you again to the League of Women Voters for organizing this uh, forum. Thank you, Don Clark, for moderating for us. Um, we really appreciate you doing that. Um, and thank you to the residents who came out uh, to learn more about the candidates and show your interest in our local governing process. Um, I was born and raised here in Morris Township. I grew up here on the streets. Um, I've, I've volunteered time here through the fire department. Um, I had my first job here uh, as a swimming instructor. I used to work at the township pools. Um, Mars Township has made me who I am today. And what I want to do out there is represent every single neighborhood in Mars Township the same way I would expect our township community to represent my neighborhood. Um, and I think, you know, over the years I have gained that experience to represent you on the township, whether it's through my um, experience legislating at a federal level or uh, providing commission, co constituent service or community outreach. Um, and I think what Jeff Grazel and I have learned in the past several months canvassing is that the township residents, um, they, want a, they want a booster shot in the township in town hall. They want a shake up to allow uh, more proactive communications with residents and to have a different perspective on how the government operates. Uh, they do want to keep taxes low and, and I think Jeff Grazel and I have shown that we're dedicated to keeping taxes stable in Mars Township and finding alternative resources to keep to, to do that moving forward. Um, and, and lastly, I think um, you know we need to do more on a local level, whether it's through shared services or working with our neighbor, neighbors and meeting and meeting with township residents. Uh, so many people I've met have said I've never had anyone knock on my door in the past 10 years to actually talk to me about the issues of Mars Township. And I don't feel that I have a voice on our government on our township governing body. And I think with a new perspective and with the, um, you know, with the perspective of Jeff and I, I think residents will have a change and they'll have some people who are ready to fight and to actually tell them about what's going on in town hall. So thank you very much for the time um, and thank you very much for coming out tonight. And I really want to thank them and I know you do. So now we really want to thank them. for closing remarks, I want to do a little editorial. Uh, you have to understand, you're uh, very lucky people. Uh, you've got four very well, I don't know, informed, advised, and uh, a good reputation. You've got four good candidates for two positions, and you should be thankful.